Fortnite just confirmed that all Battle Passes skins will be coming to the item shop in the future from now on. What exactly is going on? Are old skins returning? How are things going down currently in Fortnite? Well, we've had huge stuff happen in the last 12 hours with the Paradigm skin returning to the item shop, which it should have never have done. Even Donald Mustard posting about this and then instantly deleting his tweet with a face bomb. This is some interesting news and some interesting stuff, which has changed the landscape for the future of the item shop and skins skin purchases inside of Fortnite. So first off, what happened last night? Well, last night the Paradigm was added into the item shop for about one hour and then suddenly instantly removed. This started so much backlash in the community, also a lot of happy people as well, and then Fortnite decided they were gonna remove it from everyone's locker and give them V-Bucks back. However, they decided suddenly, a few hours later, that this wasn't the case, and they would then allow people to keep the Paradigm and actually give the original owners an exclusive style. The last time we saw this happen was with Gold Trooper and the Skull Trooper from back in the day. This was, I don't even know when it was, it was a long time ago, but it happened a long time ago, and now we're at this phase with the Paradigm. So that's happening. If you're excited for that, if you managed to purchase the Paradigm, she'll probably return again after this confirmation. Very strange because the skin was originally meant to be exclusive, but what's happening with exclusive stuff overall? Well, I've just officially confirmed today that exclusivity in the future of Fortnite Battle Passes will be changing, and that means any Battle Pass from now on, after 18 months of its release, the items from the Battle Pass could release to the item shop at any point in time, which now officially makes all Battle Passes no longer exclusive from Season 4 onwards. So you're probably wondering, hold on a minute, after 18 months, everything comes back to the shop from the Battle Pass. Well, that is true, but what about them exclusive styles and them extra things you get from doing challenges and quests? In the past, this was so iconic for Battle Passes. We had it, for example, with the Golden Styles in Chapter 2 Season 2. We also had it with the Omega stuff where you had to get a certain level to unlock the lights on the skin. So what's happening now? Well, Fortnite have officially confirmed this in a post where he talk about the number of alt styles included with a Battle Pass item may vary each time it comes back to the item shop. And then they do go to also talk about what happens if you have some of these styles or don't have any but have the skin. You will then be able to purchase these extra styles if you didn't get them from that Battle Pass in a future day when that skin does return. This doesn't count for Lego styles, by the way. It's just for, say, like an upgraded style on your Battle Pass, which you get from challenges, etc. So really exciting stuff. And this is the same for bonus quests as well. So there's no exclusivity anymore with any Battle Passes. What does this do for Battle Passes? Well, that's a discussion we could have for a while. But I'll quickly go over what I think of this and how I think you should kind of interpret this. This is great for anyone that only comes in and out of Fortnite. But if you're an active Fortnite player, you love the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass does lose that exclusivity value. However, the value of 950 V-Bucks is still absolutely amazing. 950 V-Bucks can get you a total of 13,000 plus V-Bucks worth of cosmetics in the Battle Pass. So in that sense, it's still amazing. But overall, that exclusivity, that grind to unlock styles and stuff like that, even that grind to get level 200 does kind of disappear a little bit when they no longer make these items exclusive because if you like say peter griffin but you can't be bothered grinding to the level you can just not play and then come back in 18 months time and he could be in the shop and you could buy him obviously you've got to hope he's in the shop but that's just an example peter griffin this will never happen to by the way because he was before this was announced but any other ones that do get released in the future this effect will take place on so yeah that's my opinion on it let me know in the comments your opinion on the battle pass stuff let's move on to our next topic just before we do that don't forget to tap that subscribe button if you haven't already and support me further by Entering in code post to your item shop or if you get a free moment feel free to pop into 50 fashion we've got brand new themes going live in there this saturday and a very cool event coming up for you guys on the discord of 50 fashion very very soon so stay tuned for that moving on to the fortnite live event the live event has officially got a countdown in game and we've been getting so much lore and juicy information on what is going to happen first we've got these radio broadcasts check out these because they're giving us a little tip and a little hint what exactly is in store here if you see the wanderer do not engage i don't know what's coming but it's not pretty that said i promise you no matter what comes next we will fight it we're never doomed until we surrender i'm the big shark man <laughs> uh, don't worry friends we're back to your regularly scheduled programming bit of a warning though Things might get pretty bad on the island soon. Why is it every time you knock over a villain, two more always pop up right behind him? 
So there we can see, obviously, there is something coming with the Wanderer, and could we be doomed, and more villains are on the way. Now, next, we do have some of the voice lines from the storyline quest, which we have, before we go into what's going to happen during the event. Take a listen to some of these, because this is the most key one about the Wanderer. Okay, walk with me. This box should destroy you, but instead, it talks to you. What does it show you? Hmm? What does it say? When I connect to the box, it promises me everything I've ever wanted. Peace. Harmony. Hope. I know that it's just showing me what I want to see. That if I give in, it'll destroy me. Hey, I know you. You're not gonna let that happen. It's not that easy, Captain Tough Guy. Hope and this box, they're linked by fate. By the cycles of time and destiny eternal. But the Wanderer, his interference has warped this fate. His presence has rewritten the stars themselves. And now it is not enough to simply close the box. You must fight. And you must win. Do you see it now? You were meant to be the hope at the bottom of Pandora's box. I get it. It's literal. It's literally your name. Take it up with the fates, okay? So this goes on to talk about how the Wanderer has taken control of possibly Pandora's box. With Hope originally meant to be the one controlling the box. The story quest is quite long and you will be able to do them in game. I've just shortened the most important part from the quest, the end of the storyline this season. And that leads on to exactly what's happening during the event, where are things going. Well, obviously we know the countdown's taking place and it will be taking place at 2 p.m. Eastern time on this Saturday. And the event itself will allow for lots of different things. You can hear some of the little sound effects in the back the build up alarm right now and some of the guitar stuff which will be taking place during the event it'll only be a short mini event so it won't be a huge live event and the timer is there just to make sure you do get in and see it in the past they haven't used timers and i've missed them i think this one again i'll just be uploading the footage separately i won't be streaming it or anything because it's only a small mini event and we already know the outcome the outcome of the event for those wanting to know is going to be on screen right now with a bit of gameplay of it you can see we've got a little bit of an overview of what's going to be happening with the mini event you can see the box will appear at the bottom of the rig and inside of here it most likely will happen because the nitro from the rig has gone wrong and caused destruction at this area allowing pandora's box to resurface and obviously this is all part of the wanderer's plan the event everything with megalodon is not going to plan or unless he is working for the wanderer which we're not 100 certain if he is exactly but obviously this can tell us that we are going to be getting some exciting stuff the rig itself and all the stuff over there and megalodon's ship is going to be getting damaged and it's really exciting to see because this does lead in to season four when dr doom should be making his arrival to the island so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that guys it's going to be super exciting stuff to have him actually make an appearance and here's some screenshots of it as well you can see the the box just looks amazing inside of here. It actually is going to be really cool to go and visit the box again. We may even get some more quests as well, or maybe even another mini event just before the release of the season with the box potentially opening up again and actually allowing us to transition into that season four, which is going to be so exciting because Doctor Doom is going to be making his appearance and all of the Marvel characters as well. So hopefully you are as excited as I am for that season. It's absolutely amazing stuff and it is going to be really good. So we can only hope that things are going to go well. Now to reminisce some of the old live events, Here's a load of key art on screen for you guys right now while some of the sound effects play from the current event which is taking place. But you can see these are absolutely lovely. We've got concept art of the abducted POI from the Skyfire event. You can see we've got more Skyfire concept art from the inside of the ship and the cubes. We've even got some of the collision concept art as well, which was used for the robot outside on the actual ice moon. Then if we go further down in chapter two, season eight, we can see we've got some of the live event stuff there from the event which happened when the island flipped. Inside of here, you can see different rooms from different key art. You can see this is the IO's bunker. You've got different sections with kind of it falling in. You've also got the explosion over where uh, the uh, caretakers are walking around by the battle bus. You can see we've got the flood of water coming into here. We've even got a concept of the room where Jonesy was held hostage, which is absolutely amazing to see from a different angle. And then overall, we've also got some final concept art coming in from Hypex here of some of the best screenshots from the event, in my opinion, which is the middle one here with the foundation and Jones at the zero point location so really lovely stuff really amazing to see some of the concept art from the past and lots of different stuff from marvel stuff as well here you've got a concept of dooms the main from chapter two season four and even a concept piece of some of the concepts from there as the props for example we do have the various start theme props here and also the concept art for wolverine's actual truck which was used 
where it came from the sky as a map change. So all this is just coming out just before Chapter 5 Season 4, which is going to be a Marvel season. So that's really exciting stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's news video. I'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to enter in code post your item shop to support me further. That's POST. Do pop it in. It really does go a long way and help support the channel. Thank you.